Hello everyone, it's Jen from Old Tinker Studio and welcome to the next Let's Create Blender 2.8 tutorial. In this tutorial we will be modeling a pickup truck. This tutorial was requested by Blake on Twitter. This tutorial series assumes that you know the basics of Blender modeling. This tutorial is using Blender 2.8. The link for downloading this version is in the description below. Let's start by blocking in our truck. In the Render tab, set your render cycle to Cycles. Under the Modeling Workspace, change to Orthographic View, and add a vertical loop cut to the center of the cube. Delete the left side of the cube. and then add a mirror modifier. Make sure that you have clipping turned on. Select your cube, then scale the cube to the desired size. Now add horizontal loop cuts to define the back of the cab area and the front of the cab area. Then add a second horizontal loop cut to define the separation between the cab and the bed. Select the top face of the cab area and extrude it along the z-axis to the desired roof height. Now we're going to work on the bumper. Add a horizontal loop cut and place it near the bottom of the body of the truck. Then add two vertical loop cuts, one in front and one in back, to define the bumper areas. Then select the faces of the bumper and extrude them along the X and Y axes. Select the remaining edge loops on the sides and the top of the truck since we won't need them any longer and go ahead and dissolve them. And if you notice the outer edges are a little angled, you can go ahead and select these outer edges. And 
and then just pull them in a little bit. Now we're going to work on the headlights and the taillights. And these are just going to be real simple. First let's select the front edge of the hood of the truck and move it down along the z-axis. Then add a cube. This is going to be our headlight. Now since we need two headlights, we need to go ahead and turn off clipping temporarily. This way we can get two separate cubes. Then scale the headlight down to the desired size. We're going to make these into essentially rectangles. Then add a horizontal loop cut to the center. Select your front faces and inset them. If you hit I twice, then these will inset separately. Then extrude these faces back along the Y axis. Select your entire headlight and align it and scale it to the front of the truck. Duplicate the headlights and then scale them and align them to the back of the truck for our tail lights. Now we're going to work on the grill. So make sure you have clipping turned back on. Add a cube that's going to be our grill. And scale it to the desired size. Add six horizontal edge loops to the grill. Then select every other face and inset it. Then extrude these faces back along the Y axis. Then align the grill to the front of the truck. Now we're going to work on the windshield. First let's start by selecting the top front edge of the cab and then move it back along the y-axis 
select the front faces of the cab and duplicate them. Extrude the faces along the y-axis. Then inset the faces. Select the very center edge and move it towards the center to close the gap. Then select the extruded faces and move them back along the y-axis. Then scale the windshield to the desired size. And then align the windshield to the cab. Now we're going to make the rear window, which essentially will be doing the same thing we just did for the windshield. Select the back faces of the cab, duplicate them, extrude them along the y-axis, then inset the faces. Select the center edge and move it toward the center to close the gap. Then extrude the inset faces back along the y-axis. Then scale the rear window to the desired size. and then align the window to the back of the cab. Now let's work on the door. Select the top and the middle faces of the cab and inset them. Now once again turn clipping off and add a cube which is going to be our door handle. Then scale the door handle to your desired size. Then with the entire door handle selected, add a bevel. Then align the door handle to the truck. Turn clipping back on, select the window, and extrude it along the x-axis.
Now we're going to work on the side mirror. Make sure you turn clipping off. Add a cylinder. We'll give it 16 vertices with a cap fill of nothing. Then scale the beginning of the mirror frame to the desired size. Rotate it around the y-axis 90 degrees. And then align the beginning of the mirror frame to the cab. You want it placed in front of the window. Now add a torus and we will also make this 16 major segments. Rotate the torus around the x-axis by 90 degrees. Delete the bottom of half of the torus and the left side of the torus. Now go ahead and select the entire torus and we need to scale it down to the size of the original part of the frame that we already made. Once you have the torus section scaled and aligned, select the two inner edge loops on both of the torus and the cylinder. And then bridge the edge loops. Select the mirror frame, duplicate it, rotate it around the x-axis 180 degrees, and then align it to the door. Now 
Then bridge the edge loops between these two sections. And scale the mirror frame as necessary. We need enough room to put a mirror in between the inner edge and the actual truck bed. Go ahead and add a cube, and this is going to be our actual mirror. Then scale it to the desired size. Then with the entire mirror selected, add a bevel. Select the mirror face and extrude it along the y-axis. Make sure that the mirror is aligned to the mirror frame. Then add another cylinder. Again, this will be the same as our original cylinder, so I'll have 16 vertices and no cap fill. And this is going to be the mirror swivel. So you need to scale it to the size that will fit between the actual mirror and the mirror frame. And once you have it scaled and aligned, duplicate it and place it on the bottom of the mirror. Now we're going to work on the bed of the truck. Make sure you have clipping turned back on. Select the top faces of the bed and delete them. Select the side edge and then extrude it along the x-axis to give it a little bit of thickness. 
Then select the rear edge loop and extrude it along the y-axis to give it a little bit of thickness as well. Then select the rear edge and the side edge. And then extrude them down along the z-axis. Then select the bottom side edge that you just extruded and extrude along the x-axis to the center to form the bottom of the bed. Then select the top front edge of the bed and the bottom front edge of the bed and add a face. Now we're going to work on the tailgate. Select the rear faces of the bed and inset them to form a tailgate. Scale the inset faces along the z-axis. Select the center edge and move it towards the middle to close the gap. Select your faces again and inset them just slightly. And again, select the center face and move them towards the center just to close the gap. And select these new faces and then extrude them in slightly along the Y axis. Select your door handle and duplicate it. Add a vertical loop cut to the center of the door handle. Go ahead and rotate the new handle that's going to be on the bed of the truck around the z-axis 90 degrees. And we need to delete the right half of the door handle since we actually have two duplicates. Just split them in half and then combine them. Select the remaining door handle and then bring them into the center until they meet. and then align the door handle to the truck bed. Now we're going to work on the tires. Add a cylinder. and turn clipping off. Rotate the tires around the y-axis 90 degrees and then scale them to your desired size. And align them to the truck body. Select the loop cut on the outside of the tire, the one that's away from the truck body. Click E to extrude it and then immediately hit enter. 
Then scale the extrusion in toward the center of the tire. Then extrude this edge loop back along the x-axis. Then again hit E to extrude and then enter. And then scale the edge loop inward. This is going to form a simple hubcap. And then extrude this edge out along the x-axis. And then add a face. Duplicate the tire and put it on the rear of the truck. Tab back into object mode and apply your mirror modifier. Under the UV editing space, tab back into edit mode. Select your entire model. And we're just going to use a smart UV project unwrap. So hit U, smart UV project, and click OK. Then under the UV menu, click Export UV Layout. Now it's time for some materials. So tab back into Edit Mode and delete the default material. Then go to the shading workspace. Tab back into edit mode. And then open up the UV that you just exported. In the materials tab, make a new material And we will just call this body and then give it a base color. I'm using the hex code of 6A9FC0. Add a new material, call this tire, and then assign it a base color. I'm just using the hex code of 1F, 1F, 1F. And then assign this material to your tires and the rubber around the windows, your bumpers, and your handles. If you notice when you go through, like I noticed my tires were a little too far in, just go back to the modeling space and move them out. I also noticed an extra face in the center on the front and the back windows. Again, you can just go ahead and go to modeling and delete those. Add another material, we'll call this metal, and assign a base color. Using the hex code of 747474. And we want to assign this to the mirror frames, the mirror, the hubcaps, the grill, and the lights. Now, this will exclude the interior part of the lights and the actual mirror, the reflective part of the mirror.
add a new material. We'll just call this red light. Give it a base color. I'm going to use the hex code of CA3630. Then assign this material to the tail lights, to the inset faces. Add a new material. We'll just call this headlight. And just give it a base color. I'm using the base color of E7, E7, E0. Just kind of a cream color. And assign it to the headlights. Add a new material. We'll just call this turn signal. With a base color using the hex code of BD B95A. Then assign it to the turn signal section. And one more material. We'll name this window. Give it a base color. I'm using the hex code of 29ADB4. And assign it to the windows in the mirror. Once you have all of your materials done, in the node editor, we need to add an image texture. Then open up the UV that you saved earlier. Copy this texture and add it to all of the other materials. Under your Render tab, go to your Bake section and twirl it open. We'll just leave the Bake type as Combined since this is just low poly. And then click on Bake. Once everything is baked, don't forget to save the UV map. Go to the menu, which is just this hamburger menu, these three lines. And go to Image, and then Save As. And there you have your very simple low-poly pickup truck. If you follow along with this tutorial or any of my tutorials, please tweet me your creations or anything else that you make in Blender. The link is in the description. If you have any questions or suggestions for tutorials, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good day.